Hey there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today we've got another first beer gear review to do. We're going to be taking a look at something I find is a, actually a very interesting piece of equipment. It maybe doesn't look like too much just by itself, but uh, I've had this on my uh, wish list as it were for quite a long time now. This is the Retrofit Cummerbund 612 kit from first beer. Now, uh, to give a, a very basic idea of what this does, I've got uh, sort of an older style plate carrier here. And uh, this is sort of very similar vein to how most modern sort of plate carriers are designed in that on this front area, when you actually want to take the thing on and off, you have to do all this Velcro. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but let's be honest, it is slow. Um, obviously Velcro definitely wears out over time. It can get fouled with dirt and bits of fibers and stuff like that. Also, if you don't place that Velcro in exactly the right position, you can end up with your side plates uh, moving in relation to your body when the arm is worn. I'm going to do another video to keep this one a little bit shorter, where I'll go into how you actually fit this retro, uh, retrofit kit onto a, an older type plate carrier with that standard Velcro at the front. Uh, and, but in this video we're just going to look at the actual construction of it, just going to review the materials they've used, how they've put it together and the quality of the thing, all that sort of stuff. So we'll move the camera around and I'm going to take a closer in look at how the first beer 612 watch Retrofit fit come up on the kit is uh, put together. Okay, so here we've got our come up on the kit laid out. Um, <clears throat> for sake of, uh, just to make things easier, I've split it in half because uh, the the two sides to it are basically identical, so we're just going to concentrate on one, one half of it. Now to start off with, a couple of things that you get when you uh, when you buy this kit. First off is a sort of a small pistol mag style pouch. Now this probably won't actually fit a double stack mag like a Glock uh, or a SIG, that sort of thing, but uh, it will fit a 1911 magazine, single stackers like that. Obviously you could like your M&P shield as well, so basically any thinner magazine. What's good about this is it uh, being that bit narrower, it's going to hold those smaller items a bit more securely. So small knives, thin multi-tools, all that sort of stuff. Nice little addition when you pick up the kit. And it features the 612 attachment. So if you haven't got any other 612 pockets from First Beer, you can uh, you can try this one out. And it just it's just a good sort of technology demonstrator, basically. Um, Materials-wise, it's obviously, as with all First Beer kit, it's really lightweight. 500 denier, really good, um, you know, top quality materials throughout really high production values just uh, you, you know th these guys in my opinion make the best molly slash pals compatible pouches on the market right now from uh, certainly out of all the ones I've tried and I've tried a lot of different brands in terms of design construction materials uh, everything's really good so that's a, that's a nice little handy thing to have really good for those small items now uh, you'll also Notice you've got this bungee shot cord here. This is how you actually adjust the camera one for sizing once it's fitted to your plate carrier. But you also get another piece when you buy the kit. And what that does, uh, I will go into greater detail in the next video where I show fitting the kit. But basically this allows that um, any plate carrier you might be able to think of that has PALS webbing on the back, you will be able to fit this kit even if it doesn't have the idea is that this kit is fitted to plate carriers that have a channel through the back of them, such as the uh, 6094 from LBT. However, with this extra bit of shock cord, you can fit it to, like I say, anything that has power webbing on the back. So that is a nice little bonus that they include there. Onto the kit itself. We'll start from the Velcro end. Now, obviously, standard hook and loop Velcro that's going to be compatible with, with all your plate carriers that you might want to be upgrading to. Got the little labels here from First Beer. Made in the USA, which it is. And the uh, label telling you what it is. Now obviously if they just sewn Velcro straight onto the onto the tubes, it wouldn't be very strong. So what they've got, you can see in these sections here, they've got some webbing material which is obviously very strong. And that is that goes all the way into the Velcro like so. So you know it's, this uh, Cumberland kit is going to stay securely attached to your plate carrier once it's fitted. Now 
it's going to be a little bit tricky to demonstrate the tubes here, but hopefully, there we go. And that's the piece that's actually going to sit where all that Velcro is under that front flap on your on your plate carrier. This is the uh, male portion of the tube. Now, a lot of people when these first came out, they thought, well, you know, just flimsy plastic. It's not going to be very strong. Well, trust me, guys, I did a a destruction test on a very early batch of these tubes and this uh, this plastic that they've used is is extremely resilient it's not going to wear out anytime soon very very tough stuff and obviously having that quick detachment quick fit option once you've installed this kit uh, which again I'll go into more detail in the next video it's it, it really works really well you can get you can get in and out so much faster than the old velcro method using these tubes Paracord loop here, this is what you can actually grab onto once the kit is fitted uh, for uh, fitting and detaching the tubes itself. Paracord, they've got heat shrink wrapping there just to keep it down, you're going to have less of a snag hazard there. Looped at the end, melted ends of course. Jacquard webbing, holding the tubes on. Now there's two types of multicam webbing, there's the printed stuff, which has a bit of a better pattern but it wears out really quickly and it's not as strong, so this Jacquard new style it's a lot better overall. The actual main body of the Kamaban is a 500 denier Cordura. Obviously this is the multicam version and of course it's the, uh, the official cry stuff. Laser cut, this is your 612 system here. Now again another query I know a lot of people came out with is they thought oh you know cut Cordura, cut fabric, it's uh, you know it's going to be weak, it's going to break easily. Trust me guys I've tried to tear this stuff and uh, you know th these cuts for the engineers amongst you, you'll know. If, I'm not sure if this will show on the camera, but you can actually see just about what they've done is radius the edges of these cuts when they when they put them under the laser cutting machine. And as you guys all, well, many of you will probably know, what that does is it massively helps in preventing splits and tears propagating from the the very edges of these cuts. Uh, so it really is tough and it's also this isn't just a single layer of cordura what they've done is they've added in, in order to make the 612 system this is actually two layers of material and you can see the, the velcro loop fabric inside here so this is double layered up and these slots uh, they really are very tough the 612 system overall is actually really good when you when you pick up these pouches which are compatible with it you you, you get a really great uh, an extremely lightweight and secure system all around Looking on the inside, straight away, plenty of spacer mesh, top and bottom here. Nice free uh, free flow of air, excellent heat dissipation, excellent moisture dissipation. You know, you really can tell the guys who designed this, they, they've obviously spent some time in hot places and they know what counts when it comes to the gear you're wearing against your body. Uh, from my time wearing my Strand Hog, which uh, obviously has a coming on just like this I found that compared to a lot of plate carriers where you just you've just got skin or clothing straight up against Cordura this uh, this design is really excellent and on top of that what they've done is you'll notice this channel down the center here inside these up and upper and lower pontoons as you might want to say you've got a, uh, a closed cell foam and it's got lots of ventilation cuts in it Get quite get a bit of a view of it just there. Well, that's that foam's nicely tucked away in these two sections, top and bottom here. And what that creates is a, a nice air gap, and it really increases that airflow straight through the whole system. It's really much much more comfortable in, the, in the, those high uh, high temperature climates. Where the two pieces meet, again you've got your jacquard webbing, and the adjustment, as I mentioned earlier, is via this uh, via this cord. It's really strong, really resilient stuff. Uh, and uh, what it, what that also allows is basically when when the carrier is fitted, you can fit it tight, but you've still got room to breathe. Uh, you know your, your chest can expand and collapse. Uh, just makes it that much more comfortable. That it has that little bit of a range of motion in it. Obviously, when you're running around, you're going from going into different positions, maybe kneeling prone, sitting positions any sort of other unorthodox positions you might end up perhaps engaging a target in just having that bit, bit of flexibility really helps out a lot in terms of plate storage 
I've measured this before and you can definitely get at least a six by six inch plate into here. Possibly, I think a six by eight inch plate as well, which is good. Now to retain those plates, what we've got on the top here. This, this closure flap, it's just velcroed in. That's gonna hold them in. If you don't want that in there, you can just take it straight out. As you can see, the, the Velcro on the flap is com sort of uh, complemented by the 612 on one side and this Velcro hook on the other one there. And then you're getting a plate in. Open up like so. And there you can see there's a nice view there of the actual the spacer mesh and all that that nice mesh material that's going to keep you uh, keep you cool and dry in those uh, in those arid environments. Then if we uh, flip over to the other side, you can just see just another panel, just the same, same 612 construction, lightweight, really nicely stitched. All the materials are, of course, to the spec that you want. The thread is mildew and IR resistant. Obviously, it's you know Dupont Cordura. The 500 in here keeps the weight down. The obviously, as I mentioned, all the multi-gam materials are from Cry themselves. That's a given, really. Uh, just just mill spec. You know, th this this stuff is is really the you can tell the accuracy in the construction, the effort and time that's been put in. And it's just a really excellent piece of equipment. Now, as I say, I'm going to do a, another video to follow up on this one where I'll show you how to, how to fit this whole kit into a, an older type plate carrier to give you, give you that tubes upgrade, to, uh, to give you the, the tubes upgrade. Um, I, I'll put a link just straight in the middle here, a little, little bubble that you can click on to go to that review. Um, if you want to pick up one of these, I'll put a link to the First Beer website and they, they sell them straight through there. You can get Multicam, Ranger Green, uh, Coyote and Black and they come in different sizes as well. So there we have it, that is the 612 Retrofit Cummerbund Upgrade Kit from First Beer. Really, really nice piece of equipment. Highly recommend it if you've got a plate carrier that can accept it, I would definitely go for it. So thanks for watching guys, appreciate all the, all the subscribers, all the thumbs up, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.